Hey folks, this is Pete from Pete's Tackle here. Hey, we're here. We're tying what I call, it's supposed to be a snow cone, but we don't use them for that. We use them for bait fishing. Uh, but what I, I call it the pea mouth jig. Uh, I have a black tungsten head on here. We're going to be using uh, black tinsel red copper wire peacock curl and a number 10 hook and I have some other types of hooks here but this one I'm doing the number 10 scud style hook stud cat scud caddis but folks with that this is probably one of the most deadly little flies I've ever used and I don't fly fish, but what it, the way I use this is I drop shot it for pan fish, for bait fish, your pea mouth, your squawfish, I'm not squawfish, northern pike minnow. Oh, oh. So the northern pike minnow, they had to change the name just so it'd be politically correct. I grew up with it being called the squawfish, so in my mind that's what it's called, but we will keep it politically correct. So, with that, folks, we're going to tie this. We are using U2C on this one, 140 black. The Griffin Montana Mongoose. You got to get your Griffin Montana Mongoose. These things are awesome. Rotary. Here, let me give you a little rotary demonstration. Griffin vices are made right here in Kalispell, Montana. These things are awesome. I'm excited. I just got my bait, my sailing license, so I can go out and fish these bait fish again. They are so much fun. Just fish after fish after fish. A little maggot on there, and these things just work wonderful. Every once in a while, you lock into a Big Mac, Pike, Whitefish, you name it, they all like them. So, but with that, we're going to get tying this. I'm going to jack myself up in the chair here, but hey, you continue to watch to the end of this video. That will be cool. Now, I'm going to remind you now. Hit that like button and that subscribe button right now. Because you're going to like this one. <coughs> I get a cough on the video and everything. Hey, sorry. So, with that, we're going to get to tying that. Peacock curl. Oh, black tinsel, I told you that. So, and I got me some new scissors for cutting cutting this uh, peacock curl fairly close so and I'm going to be tying up probably 300 of these in different colors for my uh, panfish season we run two of them at a time with a drop shot set up either a slinky underneath depending on how the river is or the sloughs wherever we where we're fishing flathead lake so uh, when I lose them I usually lose two at a time. I fish four pound test. Usually never go up to six, but usually four pound test with these. These things are a hoot. If you've never went out and just caught bait fish, uh, or you, you guys may be out there fishing shad and stuff, these are awesome little lures for catching those fish. They like that type of lure. You know, this is got, uh, looks like a little chronomid and stuff when it's done. They call them an ice cream cone. I call them my pea mouth killer. So that's what I'm making today. So I'm out, and my season's starting up here just shortly. So I'll be out bait fishing for all you pike fishermen and lake trout fishermen. And uh, so I can get it to uh, Flathead Baits. Flathead Baits, number one bait in the Montana. He, he takes good care of you. He's got the best worms, best maggots, best wax worms, best meal worms. Oh my God, this guy, he loves his bait. Mr. Aaron Rasmussen and his wife, Terry. But Aaron just takes good care of that stuff. He just loves it, babies it. So when you get your product from him, it, it is spot on number one. So with that, let's go tie him. All right, here we go. Hey, and you folks that were looking for t-shirts, I'm going to be ordering uh, Pete's Tackle shirts here just shortly. So if you want a Pete's Tackle shirt, uh, message me on Facebook at P 
Pete's Tackle Shop. So we go on down here. We're going to hit down Taker. We're building the underbody now, right down to about there, just about the bed. And I got my scissors in my hand. So, and then we come in, we tie in our, our copper. Because that's going to hold everything together. Because zip fish can tear things up sometimes. Tie in that copper wire. Then I come forward here. And I'm going to tie in my tinsel. So this is fun to tie. So you guys can use these for trout or whatever. I like them for the pan fishing and different stuff like that. So. And I'm using an oversized bead head on it. And I'm not using the rotary part of the vise today. Just because I'm down in that hook eye. That, uh, the sharp part of the hook. But I'm going to do this real quick like. Move you guys back just a hair. So I can turn this out. And get that thread out of the way. No, oh, maybe that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. We're just gonna make it work the way we were doing it. I've been doing them that way, so I'm gonna continue that way. That gives it a nice shiny body and then we'll do the thorax here momentarily so this is a kind of a pain in the keister fly all right so I'll do your under come under it tie it in make her good and tight on your wraps there and then out comes the copper I mean the, the tinsel pull yourself out a little nibbit of that then we come into tying up our peacock girl and I don't know many people that do this still but I do it this way so I mean it's the way I was taught and I just roll this tent this peacock curl on Tie it in. And all of you that work with peacock curl, it is can be temperamental, but most of the time it's pretty forgiving. But I bring them over, give the old fingers a lick here, and then I spin it around the thread. Get her all spun up. And then we come in and then we wrap that up. And I'll do two or three wraps on that to build up that thorax area. So until we run a peacock curl and it builds up into your... Uh, come here. Like I said, it can be temperamental. Just take that off there. Cut her flush with the fly. And I got that one that, that became a straggler short one. And tie her in a little bit. Then you come through with your red copper wire. What size is that? Oh, I don't even have a size on it anymore. And 
that ties her all in together. Come over, tie that off. Do the helicopter, or they call it the helicopter. I don't like that. You can helicopter it off. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to come in here right at the back side of my scissors, take that copper off. So, and then we come in with our Griffin Vice Griffin Whip Finisher. The bobbins are all Griffin. So, Bernie's a very good guy and his daughters and wife, and they're awesome to work with. So, go check them out at Griffin Enterprises. So, there she is. And then we come in with this little dab of zap gap. I'll get my, my head up. There we go. Balance out my head a little bit. Little dab of zap gap. Lock her all in good. Take her off and put hanger and dryer. Folks, that is my pea mouth fly. That thing works on everything. I've caught crappie, I've caught bass, I've caught perch. Everything. So if you like this video, which you did, go down there and subscribe. Don't forget to go to Pete's Tackle Shop.com and check out our or tackle there we specialize in crappie bass and pike uh, plastics jigs you name it we can we make it here in the shop pretty much so and we uh, do custom painted crankbaits really nice crankbaits you got to go check them out they're awesome for bass walleye you name it I've I painted it we got some crappie ones in there too so go check it out hey folks thank you for watching and I'll see you next Wednesday. Sorry this video is late. It'll be a workshop Saturday video instead of a workshop Wednesday. I apologize. I had things going on. I snuck out to the river yesterday and caught me some big fish. Ha <laughs> ha! Caught me some whiteies. We lacked into a couple big Macs and one pike. So we had a pretty good day. All right, you folks, you have a wonderful day. All right, bye-bye.